All right, here's an easy cheesy uh, way to get one of these gear drives installed correctly. Now, uh, the trick here is, is the gear drive is in there. These things don't come with any marks at all. And they have, uh, excuse me, multiple, uh, multiple possibilities for advance and retard. As a matter of fact, there's seven different ones. But just, this is just a down and dirty, easy cheesy way to do this. So just to get somewhere in the ballpark, at least you can check it. So I've already uh, uh, had the dial indicator on the piston and set everything for top dead center. Uh, I got number one piston in the hole. So we're at top dead center now. Now what you want to do with this guy is know what your intake center line is on your camshaft. On this one, it happens to be uh, straight up 108 degrees lobe center. So what you want to do is you want to find maximum lift on your cam. I've got, again, a, a tap it, a lifter in here and a cup ended push rod on the indicator. And so we want to find maximum lift on the cam And then what we want to do is if our intake center line is 108 degrees, then you're going to want to go 108 degrees after top dead center. So we just keep going around here until we reach 108. Okay, and that's 108 right there. You can see on the pointer. And now there's only going to be one position that this gear can slip on that hub and have those holes line up. There's only going to be one. And uh, it's really hard to do this without an extra pair of hands. Uh, but I did determine that over here, that's not going to line up. One more. That's not going to line up either. This is being a bugger now. I had it just fine before. One tooth. And that should be the position right there. Okay. So that looks not too, too bad in there. I'm going to put a couple of screws in here just to hold that into position. All right, there's one screw. You know, this is, and he's just finger tight for now, right? We're gonna Loctite everything when we're done. But uh, once that's in there, now we can sort of go ahead and degree our cam. Now I've checked out multiple different positions, but we started out with our camshaft is 108 degree center line. We got our lobe at maximum lift with the dial indicator zeroed. So now what we want to do is we want to back up. We're going to go back about 60 thou and we're going to come back up on 50. Okay, there's 50 thou. Then we take a reading on the wheel. It says 62. I might have gone a little far on that. I'm just going to do that again. It's really hard to do this with one hand holding the camera and all that other business here. Come on, you get back in there. There we go. So I'm just going to come back up on 50. Yeah, we got a reading of 62 degrees. You can see that right there on the wheel. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go back past zero and come back to 50 again. And we'll take another reading. 
and we have a reading of 154 and a half or 155. So if we take uh, 60, add with a 155, five, 11, 215, you divide that by two to get your center line and that comes out to 107 and a half. It's only a half a degree off. So that is center. That's the center position for the gear drive. And that's just a down and dirty, quick and easy way to do it. You check it again a couple times just to be sure. But uh, then there's multiple different positions uh, for those holes so that you can um, so that you can advance or retard the cam as much as 12 and a half degrees, I think it is. We look back at the sheet here. Uh, yeah, 12 degrees is the most. I'm actually going to advance the cam 2 degrees and put it in at uh, um, 105 or 106. They uh, suggest that you put them in at 106 degrees uh, center line. So that's what we're going to do. Thank <laughs> you.